Histamine receptor type 2 blockers, also called H2 blockers, are medications used to treat stomach ulcers and GERD. In this mnemonic video, we'll cover important facts about the H2 blockers so you'll be ready come test day. It's the holiday season, and during this time of the year, I like to take people out for rides in my horse-drawn carriage. Before we go, I have to make sure my horse's horseshoes are nice and clean. By the way, use these horseshoes to symbolize H2 blockers. Horse for H and shoe is our recurring number rhyme for the number 2. It's the H2 horseshoe. Like I mentioned before, H2 stands for histamine receptor type 2. These receptors are usually found in the stomach, and when they are activated, they stimulate the production of stomach acid. So H2 blockers are used when we want to decrease stomach acid. Before we get ahead of ourselves, let's first talk about how to recognize H2 blocker drug names. On the side of my holiday carriage, I've hung a banner that says good tidings. You know, the classic holiday greeting? Which reminds me, the word tidings here is our symbol for the drug ending of the H2 blockers. Tidine. For example, we have semetidine, renitidine, and famotidine. Anytime you see a drug name ending in tidine, think of the good tidings on my carriage to remember that they are H2 blockers, okay? Now that we know how to recognize H2 blockers, let's move on to their clinical uses. While I was trying to replace its shoes, my horse kicked me in the stomach, leaving a big horseshoe-shaped hole. But don't worry, I always carry my sewing kit with me in case this happens. Here at Pixarize, we use a hole in the shirt right over the belly to symbolize GI ulcers, which are essentially holes in the lining of the gut tract. The way that I'm sewing up this hole can help you remember that H2 blockers are used to treat GI ulcers. By reducing the amount of stomach acid, H2 blockers stop excess acid from causing more damage and allow the ulcers time to heal. These drugs may also be used to prevent ulcers from happening in the first place. I use a very acidic cleaning solution to keep my horse's horseshoes nice and clean. You know, this flask full of acid looks a little bit like the upper GI tract, don't you think? I mean, we have a long, narrow neck that looks like the esophagus and then a bigger bottom portion full of acid like the stomach. Can you see it? The way that the acid is bubbling up in this flask reminds me of gastroesophageal reflux disease, abbreviated as GERD. GERD is when stomach acid bubbles up into the esophagus, creating an uncomfortable feeling that we commonly call acid reflux or heartburn. And just like I'm capping the bubbling beaker of acid to prevent it from bubbling over, H2 blockers can be used to treat GERD. Which makes sense when you think about how H2 blockers reduce the production of stomach acid, right? Now that we know what H2 blockers are used for, we better cover a few important side effects. To open and close the carriage door, just pull that lever there. Hey, don't you think that lever looks almost liver-shaped? It's the liver-shaped lever. Here at Pixarize, we use a liver-shaped lever to symbolize liver damage called hepatotoxicity. H2 blockers have the potential to cause some liver damage, so keep a close eye on the patient's liver enzymes like AST and ALT. Any abnormal findings should be reported to the provider. Whoa there, buddy. My horse isn't a fan of getting his horseshoes cleaned, and he's rearing back as I approach him. My uncooperative horse is jerking around the carriage, causing the passenger to spill her bottle of medications. Use these spilling pills to remind you that there are several different drug interactions caused by H2 blockers, especially by semetidine. Semetidine can cause drug interactions because it alters the activity of enzymes in the liver used to break down other drugs. Specific drugs to watch out for include warfarin and theophylline. Just keep this fact in mind as something that both you as the nurse and your patient should be aware of. All right, that's all for this mnemonic. Let's recap. Histamine receptor type 2 antagonists, or H2 blockers for short, are a class of drugs easily recognizable by their tidine endings, such as semetidine, ranitidine, and famotidine. These drugs reduce the production of gastric acid, making them useful in treating GI ulcers and gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD. H2 blockers can cause hepatotoxicity, so keep a close eye on those liver enzymes. Semetidine can also cause several drug interactions. And now we're all done with the H2 blockers. See you next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.